Hi, I'm Nick Sims. Um, I've created a test rig which I've allows you to test two sockets on a radial circuit and also a lamp with a two-way switching switches. <laughs> so here we are. Here's the rig itself. Um, to start off with, everything is turned off here. If I press these buttons, obviously it's not energized. So now, whilst I'm going to test the lamp in this road, I'll turn it on for energizing here. Um, and to make sure that I've got energy from the MCB unit, I can turn the socket on here and the light on there. That's fine. And to make sure that this lamp works, which is the circuit I'm going to be ch checking out, which is this thing here, I can turn it off on from that one and I can turn it on from that one on that one and off that one uh, what we're going to be using today is the Regin XP5 but this time we're going to try and do a lamp using the probes so first of all you need to connect up your earth like that very carefully not to trap your fingers anywhere else and leave the meter down here below what I first check is we try out the uh, correct wiring and polarity of the live circuit and the neutral circuit which we put on here and here and because we know the light is off we turn the light on here which then goes through self test Gives you three green lights and a voltage indicator of between 207 and 253 volts, otherwise 230 volts. We need to now test out the loop, which we then press a little button, let it do its work, and it comes up with less than an ohm around the loop, which is fine, and the three green lights are correct again. The last test to do is polarity, which you just hold onto the button part, and the green lights just continue to flash. Right, um, seeing that circuit is okay now, I'll show you how it detects a fault at any point. First of all, we'll try reversing the polarity just with the probes, not with the circuit. So we put the neutral on the live, and the live on the neutral. So now it's flashing two reds at the bottom, one green at the top, saying that there is a fault. Uh, and it's live and neutral reversed which is that one there right so we know that that works fine um, the next test you can try out is having you wouldn't have this normally anyway but live onto an earth again it's coming up with a live and neutral fault so that does its work and it won't allow you testing any further than that until you re-correct re your problem. So I'll try again, live to earth. Now, this is an odd one. Uh, it obviously says three green lights for the live, neutral, conductors and the earth's present, but it's supposed to be no trip meter. But if I press the loop now, it goes. <laughs> uh, but, you were, probably wouldn't find that in any situation. I'm just creating a fault so it shows you how the whole thing works. And we're back alive again because it's tripped the circuit breaker without any problem. Uh, right, the only other faults I can think of doing again um, is just connecting the live on itself. Now it says there, live and earth are correct, the voltage is correct. There's no neutral because it's the neutral but light is orange and flashing. So that's something you can that's a thought we can detect if it's a, a break in the line. Uh, you can't test the neutral and earth together because of the because of the way it works. We put the neutral on the live, again it's test it, but it says it's a lower voltage, but it's also thinking that there's no earth at all and therefore the circuit is um, failing for some reason or another right now we've finished all the testing that we need to be done we turn all the items off like that and once we've finished so we can make this safe reset circuit breaker ready to pack up and go that's it